Hey everyone. The F-14 Tomcat has a few radar modes that are available to the pilot and take priority over what the Rio may be doing with the radar. In this video, we're going to talk about each of these and demonstrate how they work. The first mode is called PAL or Pilot Automatic Lock-On. PAL scans from positive 20 degrees to negative 20 degrees in a 4 bar search in front of the aircraft. It has a range of about 15 nautical miles and single target track or STT locks the first target it sees. The visual pattern for PAL is a bottom to top, right to left search. To use PAL you want to use the target designate forward binding. Let's go ahead and take a look at PAL in action. Target 13 miles. Okay, so I'm kind of just turning it on and off here and relocking the target since it locks so fast I didn't feel it was demonstrated enough. But you can see here that it's moving bottom to top, left to right, and right to left. And then when it comes across the bandit, he gets locked. That's a fulcrum. And you can see here I'm using it in a dogfight. You probably wouldn't want to do it this way, but it does work. High. Nine o'clock low. The next mode is VSL low or vertical scan lock on low. VSL low scans in a column on the aircraft's own heading from a radar elevation of negative 15 degrees to positive 25 degrees. It has a range of about five nautical miles and STT locks the first target it sees. To use VSL low, simply use the target designate down binding. And let's go ahead and take a look at VSL low in action. One mile. So you can see it's scanning top to bottom, and then it locks. 12 o'clock. Bandit passes me, we lose lock. I lost lock. And then in another scenario, Bandit is above us. We're chasing him, a little bit of a dogfight. We keep him off your nose, and you'd probably want to use VSL high, and we'll get into that in a minute, but VSL low works as well. Oh, he's dead now. And there he's locked. Dawn is six, keep it up. And now he's dead. The bandit is going down. Next we have VSL high. It is exactly like VSL low, except it scans in a column on the aircraft's own heading from a radar elevation of positive 25 degrees to positive 55 degrees. To use VSL high, use the target designate up binding. Let's take a look at VSL high in action. Bandit, MiG-29, 11 o'clock, three miles. So VSL high, you cannot see it, it's so far above your head. 11 o'clock. So it's on. We've locked him. 12 o'clock. Passes us, we lose it. I lost lock. Later on in the dogfight, turn it on. One o'clock low. Lock. And there you have it. You can see how far above the nose he is. We already had him locked. It's like using the force. You just have to trust that it's working. 12 o'clock high. And last but not least, we have PLM or pilot lock on mode. PLM will also STT lock the first target it sees in a very small imaginary circle found near the ADL or armament datum line, which is the small crosshair found near the top of the HUD when in air-to-air -air mode. Like the VSL modes, it has a range of around 5 nautical miles, and to use PLM, you simply need to press the PLM button binding. Let's take a look at PLM. So we kind of roll the nose over, put the cross on him, and lock it. Three miles. That's a MiG-29. Right Same thing in a dogfight, only you would probably not want to do this, but just to demonstrate. Put the cross on him, click the button, and he's locked. That pretty much covers all the pilot available radar acquisition modes. These will be referred to quite a bit in future videos, so make sure you have a pretty good understanding of them. Please remember to like and subscribe to get notifications of future content, and I will catch you guys next time.